One of the most common questions we get is how much flow can that filter handle? The amount of water that passes through a filter system per hour is the flow rate. It is important to know that a filter system includes all the pieces of equipment that water will flow through from the point it leaves the tank to the point where it returns, which includes the overflows, the sump, and the return emitters. The lowest capacity, non-pressurized constriction point in the system determines the flow capacity, not the volume of the sump. There are two of these constriction points to keep in mind when designing a custom aquarium system. First, the H2 overflow. A single overflow screen is rated at 1,200 gallons per hour. Second, the exit overflow on the seamless sump sock tub. This exit point is rated at a conservative 4,800 gallons per hour. Since the overflow has a lower flow rate, it is the most limiting factor in the system. The configuration program on the Custom Aquarium's website has a tool to help you calculate the amount of filtration that the aquarium being designed needs and will show you some filter system options that will do the job. The configurator also has our recommendations for the turnover rate. The number of times all the water in the tank should pass through a filter in an hour for different types of aquariums. Decide the maximum flow rate you want for the system and divide that number by 1,200 gallons per hour to calculate the number of H2 overflow screens you will need in the aquarium. Round up to a whole number. If the flow rate through the filter will be higher than 4,800 gallons per hour, you will also need multiple sock tubs to accommodate the volume. Fortunately, the modular design of the seamless sump filter system makes it possible to configure any number of the different tubs into a complete system. The last thing to determine is the number of siphon stopper return emitters. A 1 half inch emitter under a maximum pressure can handle approximately 1200 gallons per hour. A 3 quarter inch emitter under pressure can handle approximately 2000 gallons per hour. The flow rates through the emitters are approximate because there are a lot of factors that affect that rate, including the power of the pump, head height, and the length and directness of the return hose. Flow rates out of the return emitters define the actual flow through the system, so just make sure that if you want a lot of flow that there are enough emitters. Keep in mind that the holes for overflows and return emitters are easy to cut when the tank is being built but harder to install later. It might be a good idea to plan for more flow than you want now, in case you want more flow later. The Custom Aquarium Seamless Sump Filter System is highly versatile and can be configured to accommodate whatever volume is needed for your aquarium.